Hi everyone, Thomas Hyman here, founder and CEO of Realty Partners. And I uh, wanted to take a few minutes to talk about um, solutions for agents that may be struggling financially. And um, I've been talking to a couple of agents recently that um, aren't doing as well as they want to. Irma obviously uh, didn't help that. And uh, some of them are thinking about getting a job on the side. And, um, and of course, that's the danger because many times you might then um, find that they're going to leave the business entirely because now they're busy with their job. And I uh, wanted to uh, talk about that and say, share some thoughts. You know, what is the perfect solution for someone that's struggling in real estate? If I were to work as a real estate agent right now, if I was a brand new agent, I was struggling financially, what would be the best um, solution to that problem, to that challenge. And I think uh, as an agent, you may want to consider driving Uber or Lyft or both. And here's why. Number one, um, it's something that you can do that gives you a tremendous amount of flexibility. The bar has really been lowered with respect to the requirements. If you have a car that's a 2010 or, or newer model, um, in halfway decent shape. You should have no issues whatsoever getting accepted. And you can work whenever you want to. So you can set your own hours. You can set your own schedule. You can work in the morning. You can work at night. You can work for an hour in the middle of the day. Um, so that's perfect because you can work around your real estate schedule. If somebody wants to do a showing, if you have an appointment you need to go to, then of course you log out and you're not working at that time. Number two, you're going to get to see your area. There are many parts of your local community, your local area that you probably have never been into, that you're not familiar with. So this might be a great opportunity for you to actually discover new neighborhoods that you can then go back uh, on a Sunday to check out an open house or what have you not. And uh, market knowledge is so incredibly important. Uh, there's so much construction and development going on right now, especially here in Florida that uh, you need to continuously uh, update your knowledge base, drive around, check out neighborhoods, see what's going on, or otherwise you're just going to uh, look less than professional when you have a potential buyer that's asking you questions. Number three, you get to meet people. So while you're out there driving Uber, driving Lyft, and especially during the season, um, chances are that you have people, number one, that are coming down here uh, that are visitors. So they might be interested in buying something or just people in general. You have a captive audience while you're driving. And of course, some get, passengers, guests may not want to engage in conversation, but if you are a personal person, if you're great at establishing rapport, then you can use it as an opportunity. You know, ask some questions, get to know the person. And uh, I wouldn't sell any real estate. I would focus on creating rapport and getting the person to really like you and uh, and then, of course, you give them your card. And um, so this could also be a great lead generation method. And um, and I would ask them to text you or reach out to you or, uh, or or shoot you an email or give you their card if they have a card so you have the information. You can then stay in touch and uh, continue to uh, talk further. And you may want to have a special offer. If they're letting you know that they're thinking about buying or if they're letting you know that they're thinking about selling, Maybe you can make a special offer to them that will cause them to follow up with you. So again, if you need to put some cash in your pocket, uh, driving Uber, driving Lyft, if you have a car that's in halfway decent shape, can be a great opportunity. Uh, it allows you to hustle. You can work. You have flexibility. You have, you have uh, the freedom to work whenever you want. Plus, you're able to meet new people, potential new clients. So it could be a lead generation vehicle. And then number three, last but not least, you get to visit new areas and rediscover areas in your community so that you really know what's going on and stay on top of your market knowledge. Hope this helps. If you have any thoughts or questions, please feel free to post them. I'm, again, I'm Thomas Hyman, founder and CEO of Realty Partners. And uh, until we talk again.